Oh, guys, I got some bad news. Uh, I didn't even know if I wanted to film. All right, guys, just as a quick disclaimer, we are still trialing and erroring new camera setups. Today, we're still on the Canon that we shot the last video in. If you guys have visited the vlog or your frequent flyers of the vlog, I appreciate you stopping by regardless. But if you didn't catch the last video, we are experimenting with some new camera setups to try and reduce the amount of in-camera shake. Over the last few months, I've been shooting with an A7C, which I absolutely love by Sony, but its in-body image stabilization really isn't the best. Now I'm shooting on a Canon. It's an EOS R6. That's some really good feedback from the last video. I don't think we're ever going to be perfect. We're never going to be gimbal quality and I'm never going to use a gimbal to film my vlogs. I run around and do far too many things to carry and calibrate a gimbal. It just doesn't make any sense. It's like trying to get in and out of your car multiple times a day with your backpack on. Like it just, it just makes no sense at all. But I'm trying my absolute best because I want you guys to have a top-notch experience for the few minutes that you visit me three times a week. So it's a pretty crappy day weather-wise in Pennsylvania today, but it's not a crappy day by any stretch of the imagination because today, boys and girls, I'm finally revealing, not a joke this time, I'm I'm joking about joking with you guys. Yes, boys, today we are revealing the wrap on Sarge and I couldn't be any more excited for you and I both to collectively see this finished product. I don't know if you guys realize how serious I'm taking the stabilization thing. I even went as far as getting another camera. This one is called a Lumix, it's a GH5. I guess it's by Lumix. No, it's by Panasonic. Apparently this one's got good in-body image stabilization. I'm gonna do everything that I can for you guys. That way, if there is any shake going forward from this point on, you know I've done everything other than get a gimbal because I'm not doing that. We've got our mobile shop set up. We've got our bag of tools, impact, and our assorted cobalt socket set. Let's get in route to Accelerate Auto. Boys and girls, we are here back at Accelerate Auto. Camera's trying its best to focus. It's a little bit excited because it just caught wind of what Sarge looks like. Now, mind you, I am going to reveal this a little sooner than ideally I wanted to because I really wanted to kind of get it all put back together. The bumper's somewhat sagging. Some of the parts are still off of it. It's just that I cannot hold out on you guys any longer. You've all been patient for long enough and all I can say is I hope that it was worth the wait. Personally, I think that it absolutely was, and I'm gonna speak on your behalf. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I present to you Sarge's new look. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the wrap that I've been holding out on you guys for the last few videos. And I appreciate y'all staying with me the entire time. I know that, well, if I can speak on most of our behalves is that we're pretty impatient people because we wanna see what it is that we're working on in that moment. But I had to hold out just because a wrap like this does not happen overnight. And I really wanted to give everybody over here to Accelerate the time to actually perfect it. And that's exactly what they did. It looks absolutely incredible. Now mind you guys, it is not reassembled right now. The dually fenders are actually kind of just roughly, loosely mocked up. Our goal is to actually get this thing put back together in the vlog. We're about to jump into work here shortly, but it is very much immaculate. This is a really cool wrap by Bionosa Tech. It's actually a gloss military green. I had seen it one time on another car and I had absolutely just fallen in love with it. And to this date, I have not seen it on any other trucks. It looks incredible incredible. Inside right now, it's actually a completely different color than it will be when we get it outside. The cool thing about this wrap when it's applied is it actually has a protective film that's on the wrap. So that way, when you're actually working the wrap onto the truck, it doesn't get scratched. Another cool fact about this wrap is it can actually be buffed and it can be polished to get that really glossy appearance. You'd almost think that it was paint because of how glossy and shimmery it is. You guys saw that from some of the shots when we were doing our reveal. It looks un believable. And I am so happy with how this turned out. Guys, it's killing me right now. It's kind of a crappy day outside as I alluded to. So we're not really going to be able to show this in the light. But when you see it light up in direct sunlight, you're going to just be mind blown. It's going to look incredible. So we've got everything wrapped on the exterior other than the roof. We're actually going to leave the roof gloss black to kind of give our overall black and green theme some serious character. Oh my God, guys, you have no idea. Like this thing looks amazing. The guys over here at Accelerate absolutely knocked it out of the park. One of the craziest things is if I remove this dually fender and you guys were looking at the wrap versus the paint, once polished, you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. They even went as far as wrapping all of the inside panels here. As you can see, it just looks unbelievable. 
unbelievable. It came out so good. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly just, I'm just speechless. Like I genuinely don't even know. This is what I'm talking about right here, guys. That's wrap, obviously. This is paint and you can't even see the transition line. This wrap does have its benefits, but it can be a little bit hard to work with. Some people would say out of kind of the three big wrap manufacturers, the other two being 3M and Avery Dennison, this would be the harder wrap to install, but it's for a very good reason. Can you just look at this thing? So as much as I could sit here all day and tell you guys about how excited I am about how good this truck looks, I've got a lot of parts that I actually gotta get back on this thing so we can keep the build going. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get right to work. All right, guys, we've gotten about as far as we can get today. I may or may not be an idiot because I happened to, for some reason, bring some of the hardware from Sarge back to the shop. And I'm obviously not physically located at the shop and we are somewhat running out of time today. So, uh, see you guys tomorrow. Day number two, my friends, we are headed over to Limeridge Automotive to grab a truck and trailer set up so we can get Sarge back to the shop. Fortunately for our friends over at Limeridge, that's not so much a problem right now because I still don't have my CBL. So we're packing this one out today, boys. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, check out the setup. We are cruising in Sam's 2020 Denali, hooked up to what is Sam's white gooseneck, but still repping, my friends. Give her a quick little check. Chain's good. Safety brake strap, good. Cable good, locked in good. We are ready to rock and roll, my friends. Let's go grab Sarge. I can't lie, the nostalgia is so real right now behind the wheel of a 2020 Duramax. Oh my God, Darian, I'm a little jealous that you took my truck, man. I do miss it very much, all the time, to say the least. I'm really excited to see what they do for 2020. I guess it's gonna be 2023, because 2022 was my optimistic year release for an improved interior in these trucks. Although, honestly, for as much as the people complain about the interiors in these things, they're really not bad at all. It's not like over the year that I had my Denali, I got in it every day and thought about how bad the interior was. Rather, it was kind of distracting because the truck just drove so dang good. Plus, honestly, I really like the layout of these trucks because everything is just so readily accessible and simple. And simplicity is bliss. We're taking her home. I'm excited. All right, that works for me. Boys, I'm so excited about today because sun is finally shining and you're gonna see the true reflection and color of this ridiculous gloss military green. Guys, it's going to light up ridiculous. And also the lineup in here is squad deep today. Got a clean Beamer, we got a C8, we've got a Mustang and we've got a Tesla and we've got Sarge. Oh my God, it's so good to be back. It is very much a precise vehicle ballet as we're ever so cautiously trying to strategize our vehicle position to get Sarge the massive 20 23 foot F450 outside of Accelerate Auto here. I gotta say though, that spec on that C8 is freaking sweet. Right up my alley, white with red and black interior. I love the C8s, I can't discredit them. I just wish that General Motors offered something maybe forced induction. It'll be interesting to see what the Z06s bring. You never really realize how weird it is to drive without rear view mirrors until you're trying to drive without rear view mirrors. And no backup camera or anything. Oh, the sun hitting this wrap right now though. My God. Hell yeah. All right, so the big question is, how's it look in the sun? Ridiculous? I think you're a lot better too. Yes, dude, I'm so excited. This moment right now, like trying to see it in my mind because I haven't seen it yet in person. It's there. It's there, dude. Do we do it right now, boys? Do we do it right now? I think we do it right now. We gotta do it right now. Oh my God, dude. This color is ridiculous. Holy shit. Boys, it's absolutely insane what the sunlight does to this wrap. It completely transforms the color. You guys ready to see this thing? It looks so good, it legitimately looks like it's been painted. This is what I'm talking about. Tell me 
this thing doesn't look absolutely wild. Guys, I am actually smiling so much today that like my jaw is beginning to get sore just because seeing this thing actually materialize right here on the vlog before our eyes and the work and the precision and the craftsmanship that Accelerate Auto put into this thing is just so surreal to finally see it come together. Obviously my favorite detail of this truck is the wrap, but my favorite detail of the wrap is the fact that we've got enthusiasts ghost embossed right here on either door for driver and passenger side. Under the shadows, you can't see it, but when you get it out in the light, you see it just enough. And you can really see, back to my compliment of the precision and craftsmanship, look at the precision of all the lines there in our logo. We've got a lot of things going on. We've got the stars, we've got the stripes. It's a weathered star look, so it's a little bit broken up and distressed. We've got every single edge of all the, of the font and text it just looks so good. That right there is really hard to achieve, but these guys did it because we work with nothing but the best. I could sit here literally all day, but we've got places to be and people to see and a truck to get loaded up on the rig. Dudes, it feels so good to have a wrap truck again. Oh my God, on the rear view, the last time I've had this view was actually exactly the same, except it was my 2020, but with Long Bed Larry on the back. It's been legitimately a year and a half since we wrapped the truck, and it feels so good to have another one. This is only just the beginning of this truck transformation too. Like, it looks really good right now, but just wait until you see it all done. I can confidently say that 99.8% of us collectively are able to see what the finished product's going to look like. But those of you that are in the 0.02%, just you hold on and wait until it's done and you'll see oh man and here she goes into the shop we got jake from enthusiast making a wild appearance on the vlog he's freaking loving this color and he's especially loving our derped out front bumper we have that held on by two miscellaneous bolts right now because it wouldn't make sense to fasten it back on because we still got to put the whole front end back together you're good straight back uh Guys, I've got some bad news. There's not many times that you're gonna see me bummed out about something, but when I do something that creates an issue for myself, I hold myself accountable. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of bummed right now. Thank God I know this, man. <laughs> uh, so we're down here at Peach Bottom to fix my mistake. I am bummed, guys. Like, you're not gonna see me ever complain or be down or negative or any of that nonsense. But man, like I did this to myself essentially because I loaded the F-450 too far onto the back of my trailer. I essentially had it far forward, but I don't have any tie down bungs on that white trailer. So I ran out of strap length. I wanted to safely strap the thing down. I didn't want it to be a shabby strap job. So I backed the truck up a little bit. If you guys can recall with that Big Tex trailer, it's a 20 plus five. So I had the ramps instead of all the way down because of the length of the truck, it's 23 foot. I had them angled at their 45 degree. There really was not much clearance between the actual top of the ramp and the truck, but there was enough and the ramps don't move. You bolt them in with metal bars. The truck was strapped down tight, drove home and uh, yeah, we were backing into the shop and I just messed up guys. This is what I did. The trailer gate, the mega ramps ended up actually making contact with the tailgate. It ripped some of the wrap, as you can see. I've since peeled it down some, but when I went around the back of the truck, I saw that. And I was initially pretty bummed, but I'm like, whatever, it's a tailgate, it can be rewrapped. Well, lo and behold, those big text ramps are really not light by any means, and this is an aluminum tailgate, so it actually put a little dent right here, and there's a little dent right here. Um, all easily fixable stuff, it's just a fact that like it was my fault. And then I started looking around, and I also noticed that that happened ruin the wrap and scratch some of the paint off. I don't believe that the bumper is compromised, but I'm gonna let these guys be the judges of that. They're gonna really get in here and actually see once they strip all the plastic off that I work in the beginning of this vlog to put back on. And same thing on this side here. <clears throat> this side's actually a little bit worse than the other side. Rip the wrap up. I would actually, from a distance, saw this end cap sitting up like this. And I'm like, okay, that's weird. I pushed that back down, maybe thinking the clip didn't go on. But in fact, the clip did, and the, uh, the ramp actually hit right here and ruined it. So there's that. Well, Sean doesn't worse. ever really see me sad. Could have been worse. <laughs> I know. It's weird. It's weird. But luckily, we know this guy. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it is all repairable. I mean, the only thing that we're going to have to replace is just plastics. 
Yeah, new plastics here, new plastics here. Sensors are still good. Yep. We'll see if the metal is good. If the metal's not good, we're gonna get a new bumper. If it's simply just a scratch paint situation, we'll sand it down and get it all repainted. Yeah, not, it's really not, not, not end of the that world. Bad. It's not like smashed in on this edge or anything like no. that. Fortunately, these bumpers are, are pretty tough. Yeah. And it seems like it wasn't getting mashed against. It was kind of just rubbing yeah, up and down. It was definitely light, because if you hit it any harder, you would have <laughs> been a lot worse. Don't beat yourself up. Unbelievable. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Yikes. I don't really ever uh, show you guys when uh, shit hits the fan, but it happens. It happens more often than you can imagine. When you build as many trucks as we do, there's always things that can go wrong. It's just like anything in life. It's like if you've done a home project a hundred times and you do it the hundred and first time, something can go wrong. Or you cook the recipe and you burn the chicken and you have to start over. There's always just room for marginal error. And uh, in this instance, that's exactly what happened. Now, it's funny, I'm planning on actually going and picking up our new trailer here, hopefully this week. And uh, with that, we wouldn't have had the issue, but everything happens for a reason. We actually came down here. We had a discussion about uh, some of the parts that are actually getting painted for the Sarge build. And there was one detail that we really didn't like all that much. So we talked through it. We ended up making a small adjustment on it. So that's a silver lining in all of this stuff. Uh, it is what it is. It's, it's definitely something that I've been bummed about all day. You know what? Everything happens for a reason. Sometimes you just got to go with the flow. Boys, it's been one of those days where I still absolutely love what I do and I would never change it for the world. I would never trade it for anything in the world. But man, sometimes you're just like, whoa, can I get a break today? I mean, I know that you guys can relate. I'm not complaining by any means. We got everything to where it needed to be. Sean's gonna take care of the bumper and the tailgate. We're gonna bring it back to Brody's. He's gonna rewrap it. Fortunately, we have more material and we're gonna be able to get it all corrected. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. We made some adjustments to the paint match that's gonna be going. And we ran into a whole bunch of subscribers along the way that I got to talk to and got to know a little bit further, which I absolutely love doing i don't really feel the need to mention it in every single vlog but there's not a single day that goes by that i don't interact with one of you in the wild and it's the coolest thing so we've got some crazy wind right now i'm really sorry if that's affecting the audio quality but i really wanted to show you guys our new landscaping addition Finally, we are putting the rock to good use up here at Rocky Ridge. We had our friends over at Becker Landscaping, Tony Becker, good friend of mine and fellow enthusiast, also avid grindhard coffee connoisseur, sculpted us a hell of a rock wall. Before there was this weird cinder block. Oh, hey, Jake from Enthusiast. What are you doing on my lawn? There was this atrocious, just poor excuse of a cinder block rock wall that was here before. And we finally built it up all from the native rock that was on the property. I think if I had to pick a favorite rock, it's this one right here, just because it's so large and in charge. It kind of really just defines everything. So they built this whole area up here with some of the extra dirt that we had, mulched it, planted some stuff and things, and it is looking absolutely awesome. Really kind of complements the whole front of the house. Plus what really ties it together is Lucifer and my wife and Jack. Is little Jack with you over there? Say hi, Jack. Hi, Bubba. Look at him smiling. So who knew? We're landscape enthusiasts in these parts too. So anyway, guys, grab some entries for Lucifer and the bonus KTM if you haven't already. Just as an FYI, guys, your entries count towards the L5 P Denali and $30,000 cash plus the KTM 500 EXCF. But that only lasts until April 27th. End of the giveaway is May 6th. It's coming up very, very soon. Just as a friendly reminder, it's got an Acrobic exhaust on it. It sounds oh so good. And it's got custom number 17 graphics by MGX Graphics out of Pennsylvania. These guys are awesome. It really tied together this whole bike. Custom enthusiast label and our Holy Grail logo here on the side and on the front. Tied it together really, really nice. 